Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Etho, and yes, we are back again today, guys, with another episode of the Terraform of Punk. Our warm and cozy blanket of a series here, where life is simple, things are hard, and stuff happens. Yeah, that's, that's the intro we're going with today. <laughs> um, ooh. That was pretty bad. Okay, anyways, let's let's keep going. I, I'm not going to cut that. I probably should, but I'm not going to. What we're doing here, guys, our goal for the beginning here is to make some charcoal. Okay, so I chopped, we're, we went back to the sequoia forest here. We chopped down some trees. We got to cover it with dirt so it can burn without oxygen present. And basically it all ignites under the pile of, of dirt there. Um, we're going to set up several piles of... Uh, logs to turn to charcoal here though so we're gonna keep chopping down all the trees here apparently like i tried to get some sequoia saplings last episode from these trees but they don't drop them you can't get the saplings from these things because apparently they would be a little bit too op <laughs> uh like all the wood you could ever want right so that you can't actually collect them but if you chop down the trees they will regenerate slowly <laughs> okay, that guy just spawned right in front of me, man. What's going on? Was that a trap? Oh man, and he's like, he's fixed on me. Oh, and I'm out of, I'm out of water, dude. Oh, dude, this is not cool. Okay. Oh, he's getting closer, man. I can't sprint at all now. Um. No. <laughs> Uh okay. That was unfair, man. Oh, where are we? We're not going to be anywhere near our place. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. It's over there. We died over there. We're over here. No. No, mosquitoes. Oh, okay. Not too bad. We managed to get back here before sunset. And we had like over 20 levels. Now we're down to five. Kind of sucks. Get our stuff back. Get our armor back on. Ah. Problem is, because we died, all our... Oh, no. We we still got it. Okay. I thought this resets all our skills. Because we had agriculture maxed out. Uh, looks like that's fine still. Uh, we did lose our crafting table. We'll have to get a new one of those. Because now we can only do a 2 by 2 Let's see. Let's go get some extra water here. Just so... We're safe. <laughs> it's so important to have like water and food on you at all times. Otherwise you get in those situations where you can't sprint and you're just dead. Like there's no way you can wall off from a, a giant like that. I don't think I was, I was trying to dig down at the last moment there, but he was too close at that point. Uh-huh. But anyways, things are going pretty good here. We got our first batch of charcoal done. Uh, second batch of charcoal done here. Got to uncover it. And now we're about to start up a third one. So we're going to have charcoal for days here. This should last us for quite a while. And this is way faster than chopping trees around our place for sure. This has been pretty good because we only got to chop down like three sequoias and we have enough for a, a big pile of charcoal here. All right. Uh, we need more. This is a good way of doing it though. Like as you uncover your second one, you get the dirt you need to start your third one. Which is pretty nice. Alright. There we go. Light her up. I think we'll probably head back here pretty quick. Because it's been about 10 days or so. And all our food at home is probably decaying at this point. So we need to go deal with that. Before we lose it all. But yeah. So we're going to mine this up. Just with our shovel. Each uh, little layer here gives you one piece of charcoal. All right, very cool guys. So we have made it back to our base now. The thousand block journey back has been done. We got eight stacks of charcoal from that. So it's pretty good. That'll last us a long time. Uh, also, we got this off of a... Uh, I think it was a zombie. Or no, it was a, one of those mush, mushroom minotaur guys. It's a steam saw. And it's like half charged up. So that's potentially really good. Um... 
I did try it on the trees, though, and it doesn't work. <laughs> so I don't know if it's, like, certain things only? Easy on leaves? No, it doesn't really work on leaves. I'm thinking it doesn't work on the Terra Firmacraft trees, because it's, like, special wood. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let's try it on the planks in our, our house, actually. I feel like it should do something, though, right? Now even the planks doesn't really do anything. I don't know what this is for. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, we also brought a whole bunch of sequoia logs back. A big pile of them here. Basically filled up the rest of my inventory. Uh, I brought these back because like, we can use them for doing pit kilns. But also, I thought they looked pretty decent. We might use these for building. Like, that's a nice color, right? Oh, okay, you know what it is, guys? This is actually pretty cool. So, I was like putting this on a shelf and it activated. Like, I tried to right click this onto a shelf. Uh, apparently, it's got like a another bar. You see that? Every time I right click, it like uses up some of the power or the steam in the saw to get it rotating. And then it still is slow. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't get it yet. Well, maybe that's a little bit faster. I don't know. I thought that I thought that was a trick. No, it probably just doesn't work on terraforma craft uh, trees. Okay, now it's working quick on planks. So I wanted to try maybe a little experiment here. Uh, it actually takes a really, really long time to mine up charcoal. Like, just a couple layers here. You know, that's five, ten seconds, right? If you got a big pile like we were doing before, it, it takes a few minutes each pile, right? So I'm wondering if we can use pistons to like do it automatically because we might want to build the charcoal room that like auto harvests it for us at some point here. Oh, it moves them, really? That I did not expect. <laughs> uh, okay. That's very weird. Another thing we could try is, can we put this on top? Oh yeah, we can. What happens if we, Break this piston now. Oh, it falls. Weird. Okay. And I'm guessing, like, if we try to use water to do it, probably won't work either then. Hmm. Like, if we get a faster shovel, um, we'll be able to harvest it quicker, but that's probably going to take us a long time before that happens. And water doesn't wash it away either. Huh. So you can't really, like, break it anyway. Well, anyways, guys, we got a whole bunch of charcoal here today, and we found our tin last episode, so we got, like, everything we need pretty much to to do this. We even got our a crucible last episode, which is amazing. That's going to make this a lot easier. You can see we still got a little bit of bismuth bronze left in here, five units, which is, like, nothing. <laughs> but it's, like, going to corrupt our next alloy if we try to make something, so I think we can just take that out. Right? Like, we don't have to fill this totally up. I think it'll take a fragment out. But yeah, look at this. We got a whole bunch of copper, right? We got a whole bunch of tin. And this is our quest chain. So we got to make all the tools. So that's 12 ingots worth there. We got to make the anvil, which is like another 14 ingots. And then it wants us to make armor, which is like a 20 something ingots worth of, of bronze. So we need a lot of it here. Okay, so I got rid of that, so we can start up our next alloy. Start melting this down. So the ratio for bronze is, I think, 15% tin, and the rest copper. Bronze. Never gonna find it here. <laughs> Five pages of stuff, oh man. Maybe we can find it this way. Okay, here it is. Oh, it's 8-12% uh, to 12 tin, actually. So we're going to go as close to 12% tin as we can with the, the ratios here, because we have a lot of tin compared to copper. Um, looks like we got 1,120 units in there, so that's 11 ingots worth of stuff. So we can start casting this. Um, and we, I guess we'll go for the tool molds at first here. I got them all laid out here. And it's going to take a little bit of time doing all this. <laughs> it's good, though. We're, like, in a really good spot in the series right now. We've found all the stuff we need, pretty much. We got our jute. We got our tin. Um, there's iron nearby. Like, we can get to that after this. So 
we're kind of in the point at the point where we can make a lot of progress. We just need to like do the stuff. We don't have to find anything anymore. Good stuff. All right, so we casted all the the bronze we needed here for the tools. Got one last one to fill up here, the saw blade. And we're gonna have a lot of backup tools now too, which is great, because uh, a lot of them are starting to break on us that we made originally. Okay, so now that we got uh, all our tools, here's the other ones. We have to pop them out of the molds. We should have three quests done now in our book and get a bunch of rewards as well from that. Um, hmm, I guess our tool racks are kind of full here. Throw them over here for now. Okay, so let's check out our book, see what it says. Oh man, okay, we got a lot of stuff done. Uh, I don't think this matters too much, what we pick. We can get Bone Meal or we can get Enchanted Book. Enchanted Book sounds good to me there. And another Enchanted Book option. We'll take that. Making Stone Bricks. Uh, oh, we can get uh, one of these things. I guess we'll go for the Bronze Ingot because that's what we're going to be ne needing here. We made Mortar. We'll go for Soul Sand again. All right, five quests done there. Let's open up our extras here look at that so it gave us a full heart an extra life for the one we lost <laughs> and it gave us another reward bag oh good we need that as well for making the armor these are great rewards today farmer's pick oh that's kind of trash all right so next up on our agenda here we're going to work on making the bronze anvil so we take our our bronze that we cast it's got to be in solid form, but weldable. You throw it in here. See, it says bright red. Danger can weld, can work. We hit weld, combines them together into a double ingot. So we got to do that with all of these until we get seven double ingots. Excellent. All right, so we got our final two here that we got to weld together. And then we'll have enough for the anvil. And then we probably got to take a little break from the blacksmithing stuff because... Uh, we got other things to do. <laughs> you can't do anything for too long in this or else uh, you start having things pile up and you gotta work on your food, you gotta work on your animals and stuff. I haven't fed them in quite a while. They're probably mad at me now. Um, okay, these are all cooled down pretty much, except for two of them. Cool them down in the water here. And now we can do the anvil. Advance from the Copper Age to the Bronze Age. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, we got to sleep here as well. Where the mobs start spawning. Um, So it gives us an option for either an enchanted book or or some tool heads. I think we might actually go for the tool heads because look at the, the books we got before. <laughs> uh, it's... We got some enchanted books, but they're like garbage, like in breaking one, knockback one. So they're not that good, really. So in this quest, I think we will pick uh, maybe a pick head instead of the book. It's probably better, actually. Oh, and it looks like these are done, too, now. Fertilizer. Okay, I've never actually found fertilizer in Terraforma Craft. It's like a certain mineral, and I can never find it. It's, it's pretty rare. Uh... Yeah, I don't, we don't have willow. We'll take that. That was for making charcoal. Okay, we got a reward bag here. Another is farmer's pick one. <laughs> All right, those aren't that great. Oh, we got a greater bag here too. Oh, a hive. Oh, interesting. We might want to get into that today as well because I think that's one of our quests. Another extra life. Cool, cool. Eat our breakfast here. Okay, we're going to do a quick check on our crops here as well, because it is late autumn here. It's going to freeze pretty soon. Anything still in the ground is going to get destroyed. Uh, Sugarcane isn't done yet. Man, is it out of nutrients? No, doesn't look like it. So I think it's using up the middle one there. There's still a bit left. It just grows really slow. Like this has taken pretty much a whole year to grow. It's still not ready. <laughs> Um, we got a lot of jute planted here. It's at 74%. Some of this is done, so we'll we'll take that for sure. I have a feeling a lot of this is going to freeze, though, and we just won't get it harvested. Oh, 89% here. So is this stuff out of nutrients? Because it seems to be growing slow now. 
yeah, so it's also using the middle one there, and it looks like it's depleted. So let's try out some of this fertilizer. We used it up there, so does that bring it back to full? Uh, it looks like it did nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. Did that change anything? I, I didn't notice it change at all. I made a little bit of a mistake in the last episode. We got this ender bow, and I was pretty excited about it. And then you guys were like, Etho, you never even tried it out. <laughs> what gives? You seem pretty happy to get it. Uh, I actually did try it out in the episode. I just forgot to include the footage. Uh, but what I found out is it doesn't work. Uh, if I right click, nothing happens because it doesn't work with the Terra Firmacraft arrows. They're special. They're not the same as uh, the normal Minecraft arrows. So this doesn't even recognize them. Doesn't re realize it can shoot those. So this is like useless to us. Um, in the book here, check this out. I guess finishing the bronze anvil there unlocked a new quest chain. So if we want to get into doing like steam power stuff. Uh, first thing it wants us to do is a boiler. We're going to need brass, lots of brass for this probably, which is copper and zinc. Uh, unfortunately, we've kind of used up our copper supplies now, doing all that uh, anvil stuff. Um, so I was looking at this. There is a quest for the bee stuff as well, so let's do that. We'll take one of our wool cloth here and make a scoop, like so. And I think we can use this on the hive then. Would there be any benefit to having a full hive? I don't think so. I think we'll just place it down. I'm trying to think if that we would need that for a quest or anything. Okay, so you bust the hive open with a scoop. That gives us a frozen comb and some bees here. Okay, I found another uh, beehive here. Bust that. We'll get one more comb. A couple more bees. So yeah, it's like this. And then like this. Gives us another bee house. So it wants us to have two of them. So that's finished now. We can get a tropical princess. Uh, marshy, modest, or forest. I don't know which one we should pick. <laughs> we'll take the forest one, I guess. What is this stuff? Oh, we got some copper here. 25 units. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're like nowhere ready to get into bee stuff yet, but we're gonna just try it out, see what happens here. Um, So we got winter princess. I don't think we're in the right biome for that, but we'll try it. So you combine a princess with a drone, and that makes a queen. All right, queen. I don't know if it's going to be running here. It is winter time right now, so it might be cold enough. Like certain bees need certain biomes and temperatures and stuff. Uh, it looks like it's running. Yeah, that might actually work. So that's kind of cool. Now you can also combine bees from different species. So we got a forest princess, which I think we can combine with a winter one. And that's that's how you can mutate them into a different breeds sometimes if you get lucky. So that made a forest one, forest queen. And it says it's too cold up here, so this is not the right time to be doing that. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so check this out, guys. We set up a row of hickory saplings here, and we've left it for quite a long time. It looks like... Not all of them will grow. These two will not grow for some reason, no matter how, how long we leave them. And also, like, I chopped all the saplings I could reach, pretty much. Uh, or all the leaves, and we only got 11 saplings, and there's 13 trees that grew here. So, with this layout, we're going to be losing saplings, probably. <laughs> so, might need to reconsider how we do tree farms here. Let's see if this will chop them all down, though. Because they are... Like, like, if you look over here, they are connected. I'm kind of curious if they'll get them all. Even though two of these never grew. And... Yeah, it got them all. Okay, cool. Oh, there was one sapling stuck up there. Okay, so that brings us up to 12 out of 13. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm thinking maybe instead of doing, like, line tree farms like that, it might be better to do, like, an X. Might get a little bit more uh, leaves that way, and more saplings. And I think if they're connected diagonally, they'll still take them all down with one chop. So I'm going to experiment with that for the next batch. Alright, very good, very good. So we got a whole bunch more hickory wood now, which we're going to use on our roof here. 
because uh, you know th the joke that we're never gonna get the house done <laughs> a big reason for that is the roof is taking forever I suck at building roofs and it takes so much material in terraforma craft and work like I can't just make slabs or stairs and stuff I actually have to chisel each one I believe which is a bit time consuming all right now we go to the next layer uh-huh uh-huh yeah yeah you know uh maybe not the best roof in the world but it'll it'll work right so i went for a pretty flat uh flat design here to make it a little easier uh got this all covered over here now but on the inside still need to figure out the shape of our building because we're going to build another room here which we'll do first and then we'll add the roof on after i think uh let's go back to doing some quests here though because i'm i'm tired of roof work uh I saw a few more opened up here, like these five weren't here before, down at the low end, and over, we got like a saddle quest and stuff now too. Uh, this one's pretty interesting though, it says, Unforgotten Mysteries, some of the ancient mysteries still remain as potent today as they did in ages past. Soaking some rare mushrooms in a barrel of brine may reveal this ancient knowledge. Fill one oak barrel with witch water. So it wants us to get four awkward potions. Now, and if we do this, it'll give us nether wart, which means we'll be able to make like speed potions and stuff uh, already, which it would be amazing. Now, I don't know what it means by rare mushrooms. Also brine. What is brine exactly? Let's double check. We might need salt for that. A uh, salt water with vinegar makes brine. Okay. Um... I just grabbed some fresh water. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, so we got to go to the ocean then for some salt water. We do have a little bit of vinegar. Does it just want one pail? Yeah, just one pail of it. Okay, so that's definitely doable. No. No, 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 no. I got a fast zombie chasing me. Oh, no, let's not go that direction. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I regret everything. <laughs> I was going to try to kill some spiders tonight uh, while I walked to the ocean. That was a little bit of a mistake, actually. I think I'm far enough away from the mobs where we might be able to sleep. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, some zombies are super fast and, like, armored and stuff. Oh, they're still after me. Oh, and I can't sprint. No, not again. Go, 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 go. That guy hit, he took half my life with one hit, so I might be able to tank one more. But definitely not two hits. Oh, the leg! Oh, come on! That was no fair! <laughs> I wanted to try to get a hit on him so I could, like, get a drop, you know, when he burned from the sun. Uh... Okay, come on. This has got to be the ocean now, right? Look at the size of this. This has got to be an ocean. Is it a lake? Don't be a lake. It's a lake. Ah! <laughs> Dang it, man. I cannot find salt water. Right? It still says fresh water? Yeah, fresh water. Dang it. Hmm. This is a this is a little bit of a problem because our journey map, like we lost all the info from before. I know we found an ocean before. Don't ask me where. Oh man, yeah, I guess a lot of the things I thought were the ocean aren't actually the ocean. They're just big lakes. Uh, like this is this isn't the ocean over here. That's just a big lake. Same with uh, over here, over here, over here. <laughs> These are all just big lakes. They're not the ocean. Uh, which means I'm not sure we ever found the ocean at, even. Unless it's like over here, because I kind of remember this river. Um, yeah, anyways, so I've been wandering for a, a while trying to find it here because we can't get salt water without it. Uh, and I found something pretty cool. Where was that? I'm all turned around now. I think over here. Yeah, check this out. So we found a whole bunch of copper in a cave. Nice and easy to grab. I'm going to snag this before we head back. Mm -mm. If you have trouble somewhere. Are you in here? Oh, he's over there. Oh. 
<laughs> um, what do we do about this? Oh, too late, too late. I was going to build up a wall there. That's not going to work now. All right, so I guess they live there. <laughs> Can we... Oh, he's got a big wrecking ball. He's coming in like a wrecking ball on us. His range is horrible, though. We might be able to get him. Here. Nice. Okay, that guy was actually pretty easy. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, da -da -da -da. We found the ocean. Oh, yeah. Look at this big guy. <laughs> Nelly. Oh, snappers. Okay, let's do the let's do the test here. Is it actually the ocean? Is it salt water? It is salt water. Okay, excellent, excellent. That is what we were looking for. Uh, Nelly's got a hundred and eleven thousand HP. I was gonna try to take some shots at him, but I don't think we're gonna we're gonna do anything to him, are we? Just to see. Well, I guess we'll try it. Kind of curious what it'll drop. I feel like it would just explode with blubber, you know. <laughs> Uh, so apparently, yeah, we kind of keep zooming in here. Now we're fully charged, I believe, and bam. We did 1,000 damage, roughly. So we would need to shoot that thing uh, over 100 times to kill it. <laughs> I think I think we'll leave it be. All right, so this is the ocean out over here, all the way over here. Home base is here. We're probably, well, I guess we can just look at our home base. 1,000 blocks away is, is probably the closest ocean to us. Uh-huh, kind of hidden in the hills here. Awesome, all right, we made it back to our place here with the salt water, and uh, just looking at some stuff here. It's actually kind of interesting. Don't think we have what we need right now to do this, actually. I know I said earlier in the episode we have, like, everything we need now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Not quite everything, though. Um, okay, so we made vinegar previously with, like, whiskey and stuff, I believe. Now we can, we can snag some vinegar. We throw it in here. Seal it. That'll make brine, I'm pretty sure. Now here's the, or do I just click on this with it? No, I think I actually seal this in with it. Okay, um, here's the thing. It says to use rare mushrooms in the barrel. I guess those rare mushrooms it's talking about is actually nether warts, and, like, we don't have nether warts. <laughs> uh, we can make nether wart, though, apparently. Okay, let's, let's look at this. Which water is what we're trying to make here? So, we're making brine right now. That, that salt water with the vinegar should make brine, and then we put nether wart in it makes witch water then it, when we have witch water we can just put mushrooms in to make nether wart more of it or uh I, I saw some cool stuff here as well we can get awkward potions from this and um sake from rice fermenting rice i think uh will give us swiftness potions so there's ways of getting potions without just brewing even using the witch water here we can get night vision potions Water breathing, strength. Each of these requires like a different type of uh, alcohol. Whiskey for invisibility. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then another way to make the nether wart is actually just to use a, a mushroom with hematite powder. That's iron and a jar of blood. We'll craft it. We got two jars of blood, I think, from mob drops. Let's double check here. Yeah, we got two here. Okay, so we just need to find some hem hematite and grind it up in our, our things here. That's probably one of the things we'll do in the next episode, though, because we're kind of running out of time. Uh, maybe just to finish up real quick, we'll do the saddle quest, which is nice and easy. Just need one leather. Take the leather, throw it on the log here, and then we go boop, boop. Boop, boop. And we got ourselves a saddle. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found a single horse in this playthrough so far. And horses are really nice. They're like one of the best forms of transport. Um, although, if we get these speed potions, like that'll help us out a lot. Because it takes a long time to get around. We can get arrows, copper javelin, or confusing arrow. Maybe we'll take the confusing arrow. 
we need that we need that for another quest. Okay, it gives us an option of some stuff here. I guess we'll go for the axe and then we'll use that up. Horned invaders. Oh, minotaurs. Okay. Looks like we reached kind of the end there. This is repeatable? No, it doesn't say repeatable. Maybe after we finish it. Uh-huh. Oh, we got to sleep here. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap up our episode here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, as always. Much appreciated. And let's eat our hearts. I was kind of careless today, a little bit. <laughs> but we still ended up with plus one hearts compared to when we started. Even though we lost two lives today. Uh -huh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.